Alright, Chachi. Take two. We recording. Yes, we're recording. So I tried to be smart about like filming two videos today at once because you know I have makeup on and my hair done and all that. And that plan backfired on me because I just spent the last 15 minutes sitting here basically talking for no reason because my card was full from the last video I just filmed and it stopped recording on its own. So with that being said, this is take two of this video. <laughs> Today I'm here to share with you guys my favorites that I have been loving for the last, well, however long it's been since I did my last favorites video. I actually filmed this before the world started going crazy two months ago. I had a campaign that was actually in this video, but then that campaign got canceled because everything went to hell. And as sad as I am that I lost that job and that income from that video, I'm more sad because that video was so well made in my opinion. Like I worked so hard on it. I had all the lighting right. I said all the right things and for once didn't like blabber on about nothing. And you guys will never be able to see it and it makes me very, very sad. Anyways, I'm here to share my favorites with you guys and I just wanna jump right into it because I'm tired of sitting here talking to myself and yelling at my kids every five seconds to be quiet. Yeah. So as you guys know, I don't really talk about beauty products as much anymore, so when I have favorites, I get really excited to share them with you. Uh, lately, for my skincare, which you guys know has been something that I've been struggling with the last couple months being at home all the time, um, I've been loving my Murad products. So I've been using Murad products for a long time now. Uh, they sent me these, however, but I have been using them prior to them sending them to me uh, for years. A lot of the places that I would get facials at, which was very rare, but when I would go, they use Murad products and I was using them at home. I just really like them. For a high-end product that costs a little bit more, they're actually effective for me, so I don't mind spending a little bit more on them. I, in the past, have been duped into buying really high-end products that didn't do crap for my skin by other influencers, and now looking back, a lot of those influencers came out with videos like my Botox and collagen injectables and so looking back I think I wasted money because I think that's probably what's helping their skin not the products that I bought through their videos uh, but Murad's not one of them. The first product that I've been really loving is the Murad Environmental Shield. This is the Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I have been loving this because most of the sunscreen that I've used on my face in the past has been either like really white or cakey or really green see this is none of those things and it also smells really good it smells like citrus if I'm not going to the beach I don't want my face smelling like coconut <laughs> I don't want my face smelling chemically either this has none of those scents it's very light it doesn't make my face greasy I also put it in my hands because I've been trying to make sure my hands don't prematurely age as well I really 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 have been loving this especially because I haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup or any makeup these last two months being at home with all this stuff going on uh, that's something that I usually rely on for sunscreen or sun protection is my makeup because most of my makeup has it in it. So this has been really nice because I don't feel like I'm wearing sunscreen or feel like I'm putting sunscreen on, but I'm still getting the protection I need. Next thing I've been really loving, which this has actually been the most effective thing for me lately, is the Murad. This is also a hydrator, but this is a serum. This is a recovery serum for face and eyes. Now I only use this stuff at during the day obviously I don't put it on at night and then this mirrored hydration I use this at night you're supposed to I think use it a.m. and p.m. yeah it says a.m. and p.m. but I only use this on my face and my neck and my chest and also on my hands um, during the nighttime and I really really love it it really works well for me to I, I feel like I've noticed that since I've gotten back to taking care of my skin and I'm not as stressed from my old previous job I've noticed that my face has looked a lot more youthful and brighter and healthier without makeup on. Now that might just be me, but I don't know. I feel like it's been working. So I've really been loving this. It's not too heavy at all. And it's been helping a lot with like around here, which is where I feel like I was aging a lot these last few months. The last thing I've been really loving from them is the Resurgence Replenishing Multi-Acid Peel. I love peels so much, but unfortunately, like with my Drunk Elephant Peel that I really love, it's so intense you can only use it like for me once every two weeks or it's too much so this you can actually use more regularly like with any peel you should always make sure to use sun protection though so 
use sunscreen because if you're peeling off little bits of your face, the sun's a little bit more intense on that skin and you will burn and damage, which defeats the whole purpose of taking care of your skin and throwing money at your face. So um, definitely pair these two things together, but I've really been loving this peel as well. The next product I've been loving is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This is like halfway gone. I keep these everywhere. I have a pump in my car, I have a pump by the kitchen sink, and then this sits next to my nightstand and I use it before I go to bed. I'll put it on my hands, my arms. I also have a little mini version of this in my purse. It is just awesome. Uh, when all of this started happening and we all started using more, you know, Purell and washing our hands every five seconds of the day, I was looking for a really good cream for my hands because they were just looking so aged and dried out. Like, so aged and this was on sale at Rite Aid so I picked up a couple of them and sure enough this stuff worked really really well so I would highly suggest this if you're looking for a moisturizer that not only keeps your hands feeling moisturized throughout the day not like having to reapply it every five seconds but also if you're looking for something to kind of bring that plumpness back to your skin this stuff is amazing and again this is drugstore so it's super affordable and Rite Aid and CVS the two places where I've seen this always runs deals on it like buy two get one free so for me since I do keep it all around my house for myself my husband and whoever uh, it works out for me that I usually buy three or two at a time anyways all right, last beauty product favorite. Again, I filmed this before all of this happened when I was wearing makeup more regularly. Obviously, these last two months of being stuck at home with the family, I have not been wearing makeup very regularly. But when I was wearing makeup a lot, and then when I put on makeup today, and then maybe that one other time a month ago, I've been using the Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes that they sent me. This is the Highway Queen, and this is the G-Train. They are separate palettes. Each one of them has eight shadows in them and a nice little mirror. It's cardboard packaging. These two are sold separately, but honestly, if you're going to buy one, unless you have a accompanying colors that you really love, I suggest maybe just buying both of them. This Highway Queen palette has a bunch of really pretty blending neutrals, which I really love. The G Train one, though, has this dark color right here, which I love, called Tunnel, and then this really good blending color called Subway. Today, I'm using a Rest Stop, which is really pretty like peachy pink uh, shimmery color. I have Roswell on, Road Soda, Shag Van, <laughs> uh, Backstreet Babe, and Coast. I'm using basically all the colors on this one. And then this one I use Tunnel, which is this dark burnt maroon, and then Subway to blend. And then I also have a breakdown in my upper eyebrow area as a highlight. So I really have been loving, 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 loving this, these eyeshadow palettes just because they blend really, really nicely. The colors are nice and warm and I just, I don't know. I've been loving that orangey, burnt, orange, warm look. All right, moving on. This video sucks because I have no clue how to act in front of you guys anymore. Um, let's move on to like kitchen stuff, right? Like food, beverage kind of favorites. So if you follow me on Instagram, or anywhere else in social media, or if you've watched any of my day in the life vlogs, I've been loving, loving, loving making my own coffee at home, partly because I have to, and partly because it's been something to keep my mind off of everything else going on. So I purchased this Morocco milk steamer, and it's been awesome. The base of it's still plugged in uh, in my kitchen because I was too lazy to take it out of its outlet and bring it all the way over here and then have to go put it back after I was done. But it is basically the same exact size as this, but just like, imagine like two inches below it. And basically you fill up your thing with milk to the line that it says on the inside. You put it on and then there's five different settings. There's, or sorry, four different settings. There's a light warm steam. So it's like a very frothy, but like very light frothy. There's a thick frothy setting. There's also a just warm your milk for hot chocolate setting or tea. And then there's the cold froth setting, which I've been using the cold foamy froth setting for my cold brew and it's just, it's amazing. I love this thing. Again, I got this off of Amazon. It was sold out for a while. A lot of you guys were bummed and blaming me because I added the link to a vlog, but they are back now. So if you want one, they have them in white and black, but this has definitely been a favorite of mine. I use it daily, 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 and it's so easy to use, which I love that. The next kitchen -y type favorite of mine, two things actually, one of them, are my rain straws. So I talked about my rain straws a lot on my social media, but I don't think I've talked about them in a video at all. So as you can see, I own a lot of straws, which it used to be almost twice as many 
as you see in front of you uh, before I gave away a ton of my metal straws because I just am not a fan of metal straws anymore. Um, I kept a few just because they're good for certain things and because I felt bad getting rid of all of them. Yeah, I don't really use them very much and the reason being is because I was hitting my teeth on them when I would go to sip something and it hurt like the devil. So I don't really use these a lot. I just I don't know. I just had so many of them that I gave some away and then I kept a few. But rain straws have been my go-to favorite, favorite straws. So I got these off a of Kickstarter. I ordered them, I feel like, two years ago and they finally showed up over, like, I think the end of February. Uh, they took forever to get here, but they were definitely worth the wait. So I bought two different packs. One of them was like the neutrals, so you get gray, black, and all that. And the other ones were like pastel spring colors. And the idea behind these is they are made out of like a thick, it seems like almost composite plastic. But when you're done, they're recyclable. Uh, but the biggest, like greatest part about these is that they come apart and are easy to clean. So you can stick these in your dishwasher and you know for a fact they get clean because you can see in them, which is amazing because if you know my husband, he doesn't like to clean straws. He gets so mad when he sees them and he gets <laughs> he just sticks them in the dishwasher, these metal ones, and then assumes they get clean and then I'll take them out and I'll find so much disgusting stuff in them. Ugh. Anyways, he just has a tendency to do that. So he loves these straws. Even though I spent a pretty penny on them, he is like, this is the best purchase you've ever made. So anyways, you can see inside to make sure there's no gookie in them. They go in the dishwasher so you can lazy clean them or you can just take a brush and really quickly just scrub or even just like a sponge and scrub in there and then they're clean. But then you put them back together by slipping that bottom part in and then you just press it. And then it's a straw and they work and they're really, really cute. And I've had them and used them for months and they are still hanging in there. They're not like breaking, they're not deteriorating any. And yeah, I don't know, I love them. To get them apart, you just push at the bottom like this and that's it, that is it. So I've been loving these. Again, they're super easy to clean. Uh, my husband loves them because they're super easy to clean and I don't have to feel weird about storing them in my straw container, which I'll link the straw container at the bottom too. I don't have to be feel weird about storing them in here and then worrying about like, this sounds weird, but worrying about like spiders in them. I once had a straw that had a spider inside of it. Isn't that disgusting? And I have a clean house. You guys know I keep a clean house, but spiders, you just can't avoid them in your house. So I really love the peace of mind I get knowing that there's nothing inside my straw when I go to use it. All right, I think I only have like a couple more favorites left. I've been talking forever and I'm tired of the sound of my voice, but um, a, a few things that have been getting me through this uh, current climate that we are in and all the sickness and stress and stuff has been a few things. One, puzzles. I mentioned the Cavallini puzzles like crazy on Instagram. Um, I bought two of them. I had been searching for them forever because they seem to sell out super duper fast. The packaging is adorable. I love it. They come in a nice little drawstring linen bag as well, like all the pieces. They are a thousand pieces, which is super doable. You don't want to like shoot yourself in the face, you know, halfway through like my Star Wars puzzle, which I will never touch again. The puzzles that I've had in the past, the picture will start peeling up on them, which drives me insane. And they start like just being really crappy. They don't feel like sturdy pieces. These you don't have that issue with or I didn't have that issue with. I have a National Parks one that I just lent to a friend. It was so much fun to do. It was challenging enough that it wasn't like, oh, why did I buy this or do this? But it also wasn't too challenging to the point where it's like, go insane. Uh, they're just really nice puzzles and they're really pretty and I don't know. I love the packaging. I just have them on my shelf in here. Like I said, I have another one that's National Parks, but my friend has that. They have a ton of different puzzles that you can uh, purchase from. Yeah, those are just really neat puzzles. So if you're really bored or have nothing to do or you're going insane or you need something to stimulate your mind a little bit, I highly suggest the Cavallini and Company puzzles. They're really well made. If you can find them where they're not sold out, buy one or two. They have a bunch of different ones and there's a bunch more that I want. So hopefully when all this craziness is done and they're more in stock, I will be able to purchase the other ones like I want. Another thing that's been getting me through this kind of stressful time has been Young Living Oil. I don't like talking about oils because I feel like people go insane about oils. Like there's no happy medium. It's either like oil your life or 
they don't work at all, they're stupid, kind of gimmicky type of thing. Uh, especially with Young Living, I feel like it was such a like cult thing when it first started. I've been using oils for a really long time. My mom was using oils before it was even like popular. Like I feel like all these gimmicky uh, direct to sales or MLM things came out and suddenly it's like, I don't know. It's just become a thing. So I have like a weird feeling about talking about oils, but my mom's been using oils since I was in like elementary school and I'm like 33. Four. I don't know how old I am. I'm somewhere in my 30s. So, I mean, she was that, like, Greek dad in my big fat wedding that was like, put some Windex on it. That She was that way with tea tree oil. She was like, oh, I have an oil for that, or I can fix this with that. And she would have all these oils in the bathroom on the vanity with all these concoctions that she was making. So anyways, I've been using oils for a long time. I just wanted to put that out there. I don't like talking about Young Living. I am a distributor, however, so if you do click my link or whatever, or you wanna sign up, or you wanna get a deal on like the basic package and the diffuser or whatever, uh, by all means, use my link. I would appreciate it. I do get, I benefit from it somehow. I don't even know how it works. I worry about talking about oils because I don't necessarily think that they are a replacement for everything. I don't think that they are a replacement for a lot of things. Um, but I do enjoy what certain essential oils do for me. And one of those things is the Peace and Calming by Young Living. This not only smells good, but it does really help me relax. I actually diffuse this a lot in my laundry room slash yoga room slash plant room. I've been doing my glow yoga on my TV in that room and I will have this diffusing and it really does help me just calm the F down. And especially right now where I have been high stress, high irritated, just, all of the things, I it's just been really helpful and it just, and it smells good and it doesn't give me a headache and I really do feel like it's been effective in helping me and my peace of mind. Like I said, I don't think that oils are the cure-all for a lot of things that people say they are, but this has been helping me and I love having a good smelling house and feeling a little bit better and certain Young Living oils do that for me and this is one of them. So, peace and calming, I have been loving it. Again, I am a distributor. If you wanna click that link, it'll give me something, I think. I don't know, again, I, I haven't really made any money from it because I don't talk about it and I think I just signed up to be an actual distributor I don't know, a month ago or something, or two months ago. Anyways, have at it if you want. My last favorite, which I filmed this video earlier today, I think it'll be up after this video, is the Kind Cup. This is my last favorite. I have been loving it. This is a review that will be posted soon. It is a great product. It is a great company. I really like the founder of it. I'm not gonna say too much about it because that review is coming if you wanna see me talk about it but this has been my favorite cup and it is tied for my first favorite all-time cup currently and I really like this cup. So if you're looking for a new cup, check out Kind Cup. That is my last favorite. So there you have it. There is my list of favorites for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry if I seem all out of sorts. I really just am tired because I filmed this video so many times and I feel like I left some stuff out, but then at the same time I feel like I talk too much and I haven't done a sit down video in a while and it definitely shows. But yeah, those are my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave all the links underneath this video. Some of the links will be affiliate links. If you shop from Amazon using any of my links, I do get part credit for it. So I always appreciate when you guys do that. Even if you click through a link that's underneath one of my info boxes and then immediately search another thing on Amazon and buy that, I actually get credit for that. So anytime that you need to shop at Amazon and you wanna help a girl out, click a link of mine that is Amazon related in my info box because I really appreciate it. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys aren't going too crazy and this maybe helped brighten part of your day or at least kept you busy and entertained in the slightest. But if you like my videos, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you wanna see more and I will talk to you guys all in my next one. Bye.